Hello you lovely lot, it's Gran here with another episode of Zawa Together on Grimer's Zawa Together server. Now then, I've had a request to do the spider monkeys first and I don't think that's unreasonable. So I'm looking at what I should use to actually do this exhibit. And I'm leaning towards my favourite wood. And I do have quite a bit of it. Rainbow eucalyptus. I've got some here. I've got some there and some there. I have used a rainbow eucalyptus quite a lot in my exhibits in the past, but it is my most favourite. I like that multicoloured aspect of it. I did think of the Zelkova log because I haven't used that at all so far. But no, I think I'm going to go with rainbow eucalyptus. That's what I'm going to do. Now, have I got it all a bit more there? Look. Uh, I don't think there was any up here. No, I can't see any in there. No. And I think I've got it all from here. I don't think there's any more in there. Nice. Yeah. Wow, just look at all that. I don't think I'm going to have to chop one tree down if all this... Mind you, you know, it always takes a bit more than you think. Now then, I need to decide what glass I'm using. I always tend to use exhibit glass, but I'm thinking I might use a little bit of plain glass here. Now, if I remember rightly, when I last did an orangutan exhibit, I put wood on the walls and the orangutans just spent all the time going up and down and up and down. Oh, it was driving me absolutely crazy and I had to change it all to glass. I think I used exhibi exhibition glass then. Well, I'm going to, as I say, I'm going to try with plain glass and see how it looks. Just, you know, to, to, for a bit of variety. And we'll see whether I want to leave it like that or not. So, the thing I'm worried about most is actually the roof. Because I'm going to do a different kind of roof than I've done before. Um, and you know I like angles and patterns and things. Well, yeah, this is going to be... It's going to be a round roof on an angle. So, <laughs> I'm not quite sure how that is going to go. So, what am I looking for now? Um, I've got some here already. I've got... Um, Got some glass panes. I don't know whether they'd go in or not. I'm not quite sure. I can take some with me, can't I? Yeah, I'll take some with me and we'll see whether we can... Well, it's got to look sensible, hasn't it? I don't want it to look silly. But we'll take it. We'll take a bit because it's there. Now then. Oh, what's this ice doing in here? Uh, let me just... Um... Oh, have we not got an ice chest? Oh, I thought I had. Oh, that must have been in another game. Okay, then let's put that back in there. I'm not going to be uh, changing chests around now. Okay, so we'll take these. Okay, I think I'm about ready. Um... Oh, the reason why, um, another reason why I'm doing the spider monkeys first is because I've got quite a few of them. Although most of them are all the same. I've only got two variants. I've got two mandrels and an orangutan. Thanks to Cinnamon, as I mentioned in the last video. But the spider monkeys, I captured all myself, I think. Yeah, I think I did. So, so that's what we're doing first anyway. So let's get over there and start some building. And we'll see if we get bothered by any more pesky pillagers. Oh my goodness. Right. Let's see if there's anything outside this trapdoor. It says daytime. So, but it is late in the day. That's okay. I have my bed. Nothing out here wanting to shoot me or blow me up. No, 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 no. Right. Oh, there's some things down there. But they look like butterflies and dragonflies. And I've got lots of them, so I don't need any of those. Right, let's get over there then. Oh, there are my circles, look. It's going to be tricky, is this one, I think. It's going to be tricky. And I think I'm going to start with some rainbow eucalyptus logs in various parts. And those are going to go up to the roof. And I'm not going to strip them either. 
And I'm going to embed them in the ground and sit the glass on top of them so that it's nice and fancy. You can see the ended, the upended logs through the glass. So that'd be quite nice, I think. Oh, time to sleep, I think. Right, so let me start here. And I'm going to replace each of these. And I'm going to embed them in there like that. All the way along. Let me use my shovel. That's going to be a bit quicker, although it is a bit... You know, it goes overboard a bit, this shovel. So I'm going to do this all the way around and I shall come back to you when I have done it. See you in a bit. Well, I'm back a little bit sooner than I'd planned because look at that mini-map. Things have been spawning. Well, I'm going to ignore them. I'm just going to carry on. But they're over there somewhere. I think they might be in that ant e the giant anteater enclosure. And I hope they are because they'll be contained and they can stay over there. Which is fine. Ha ha to them. Ha ha. Anyway, I'm going to get on with this. There we go. That's the last lot in the ground. So now I want to put those posts in. And I want these sort of spread around each of the exhibits to just break up all that glass that's going to be there. So I'm thinking probably on the each end of these flat bits here. And we've got another... We, oh, we've got a single one there. So I want it on there, I think. Um, there we go. Uh, where oh look at that I missed that didn't I let me just uh, get that out pop that in properly uh, there's a single one look let me put these single ones in because they're easy to spot there we go and another one there uh, this here is going to be the entrance of each one uh, an entrance to observe that is uh, you know, people are not going to be able to just walk in. Got uh, that one there. Another one over here. I think I'll put some in between these as well. And I think because I've started with that flat bit at the back, I think all the flat bits might. Yeah, I might as well do that on these as well, I think. That's, uh... oh, that's shorter, yes, because it, it bisects that other one. So we'll have one there and we'll have one there on each of them, I think. But in this episode, I'm only doing the spider monkeys. So, and this is going to be the central one. And I think the central one is the bigger one, which, you know, makes sense seeing as I've got eight spider monkeys and very few of the others. Okay, so, all right. Right, time to start putting some glass in. I'm going to start at the back here. And this is plain old vanilla glass. There we go. Now the back here is going to be the lowest section of the exhibit and that's where the roof is going to start. So let me just put these up here and enclose myself in because if I put this all the way around then nothing can get in, can it? Now I've had another thought. I think I'd like to try some stripped eucalyptus on this bit which separates each of the exhibits. Right, let me get me axe. There we go, and this one. Oh, I missed one out there. Let me put that back, and there. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I think I'll leave it up for now, but I'm thinking that that idea is not working. I think I might prefer it with all the glass, to be honest. And I could use something else so that there isn't a lot of visibility around that area. But I'm just going to carry on with this and I'm going to keep looking at it. And if I really don't like it, I'll find out. I always do. Right, the glass is in and I think I'll just put some gates along here so that when I'm in there, I'm safe. 
There we go. Although I am going to be working on the outside because I'm going to put the roof on now. I can't say I like this corner bit here because there's a very little glass meeting. So I might have to overlap these bits so that there's a full block overlapping a full block. Yeah, I think I might do that. Right, so I'm going to start down here and we're going to use slabs and slant it all the way up to the front. Right, I think I've nearly got to the end of all this slab placing here. There we go. And this bit here, there's a lot of straight edges here. Did I not place them correctly? Uh, I think I did. I think what I need to do now is have a flyover and see if it looks like a disc. See if it looks like a circle. I can see on the minimap that it sort of does, but um, have I come in too much where it bisects the others? That's not too bad, actually. But I think that top curved bit is a bit too straight, if you know what I mean. These bits here. I'm not quite sure about these bits. But I'm not quite sure. Let's just put another one there. Uh... Hmm, it's still going to be straight, isn't it? Because I have to come in. But it just doesn't look exactly like it should. Maybe it has to come in a little bit more sharply as it gets to the front rather than being in a straight line. I don't know if that'll look. So that's two there and these come in one each. Let me just get rid of that. And... Uh, and... I've nearly got to the end here, but I could put another layer on it because it doesn't quite go over that entrance bit. And I think I'd like it to go over there. So let me just see. Can I take it up to maybe just one in there? Uh, hmm. It's difficult. It's the angles, I think, that... No, I didn't need to put that there at all. Oops, oh, I nearly fell through then. Let's just put that one there. That's three now in a row. Let's take that off. Uh, let's have another look on the map. Yeah, I think it does look a little bit better on that side. So I'll do that on the other side as well. But I think I'll have to have a little snooze rooney first. So is that right now? Let's have a look. We'll do when this updates. I have taken that off now. That's not there. The so two, two, one, one, one. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, it should show that very shortly. Are they still there? Oh, they've gone. Look, that means there's going to be some more coming somewhere else. Oh dear. Okay, time to put some more glass in. Ow, that wasn't very successful, was it? Let's have a look. Need a or two. Hmm. I'm not liking that. Not liking it at all. I think I'd rather it on the top rather than underneath. So I think we'll take these off. Well, I've messed about with these. I've put them in, taken them out, put them in again. And I just, no matter what I do, I just do not like how this glass intersects with the roof. I'm thinking, uh, let me just put, um, I think this is how I did it in the first place, wasn't it? I just put a slab there like this, but there's a gap there now. 
and so I'd have to put that there to close the gap and I don't know if it's because it's vanilla glass and it's got these white edges that it's drawing my eye to this area and I just don't like how it looks so I'm thinking maybe I should be using exhibition glass and that won't look as obvious that this is a bit of a mess around this side no I just don't like it I just don't like it at all and what's going on with this glass there why does that white stripe stop there I just do not like this area here this bit right so I put the exhibition glass in and I'm just deciding whether to leave those posts exposed or not and I'm thinking I'm leaning towards covering that with rainbow eucalyptus as well to keep that line going across there um, I can put two in there I think that looks so much better so that's what I'm doing with that uh, let me pop this in there oh where's that gone oh yeah big deal okay so that's the back bit now the side bits with this do look better because they haven't got that white stripe around them so I'm going to change all this glass to exhibition glass and then review it again and see what it looks like well it still looks messy under there I do not like it at all and I'm really not knowing what how to make that different any different to that so I think I'm going to push on and come back to this um, when I've done a bit more and just hmm, try and think how I could make this a bit more tidy around the edges because this is just not working for me at all. Right, I've decided those stripped rainbow eucalyptus have to come out. I've decided that I don't like them at all. Eh? Okay, well, I'm just checking these ends. Four there. One, two, three there. And this one, two, three. Yep. That's the same then on both sides. And I think this looks the same here. Okay. There we go. Let me get these. Yes, I've got some more pillagers. And they are trapped in a cave underneath. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, I'm going to stop messing with this roof for now and I'm going to totally stop thinking about it and uh, something might come to me because although I, I love the middle bit, I love the round bit, I love the diagonal bit, I do not like these edges and I, I just don't know what to do with them. It's, um, yeah, it's just a mess, is that? I'll, I'll think of something, I'm sure I'll think of something. Right, I've got to move on now and I'm going to do the floor on the inside of this exhibit and I want to lower this grass down one level so that I can put a floor for the exhibit on top of it. So I'll come back to you when I've done that. So I want to create an exhibit floor that has bits of all sorts in it. So that's why I've lowered the grass down because I'm going to put some leaves on top and I want the grass to show through the bottom. So I'm going to sprinkle these around first. And now I want to put some leaves in and I'm using jungle leaves. And again, I'm just going to randomly place these in between the grass that's on there already. And now I'm going to place some podzel in some of these. And then I think I'm going to put some coarse dirt and then I'm going to change some of these grass blocks for pathing blocks. So I'm going to do that and we'll see what it looks like when I've finished. Okay, I absolutely love that floor. I really, really do. But I'm going to take a little bit of it out because I'm going to give the spider monkeys some water to play in. And I rather fancy the shape of the pond to be like a crescent shape at the front here. And I'm going to put a bridge over it as well. So I'm just going to get on with that and see how it looks. Nice. Okay, so 
lost it. There we go. Actually, probably not all coarse dirt. I think I might like some, so we can put some of the, um, you know, plants in. We can put one or two of this podsel in down here. Uh, got one of those in. Uh, we'll have one there as well. Paving. I don't think I've got any sand in there. Nope. Oh, I could put some of that in the bottom of this though. River stone. Put some of that in, couldn't I? Let's have a look. Let's put a little bit of this in and see what it looks like. Quite like this. Uh, oops, it is in. Not, not right up there. Not like that. Hmm. I quite like that. Well, I've had to come back for some sand because I just cannot find it. But, ooh, look. Oh, I like I like the general look of that. There are some aspects of it that are a bit of a pain. Oh, a spider. Get out. Cheeky thing. Um, Let me see now. Uh, yeah, so I want some sand along the edges. Let me finish filling this in first, though. So I think gravel will just finish that off. So I'm gonna put sprinkle that around so I can put some um cattails in and there some reeds in. Actually I don't think I've got any reeds, I think I've just got the cattails, so those will be those will have to be the ones that go in. A few more around here. Uh I think that might do. And more pods all around the edges because well it's gonna be quite a damp area, isn't it, around the pond. So I'm just going to change a few of these, uh, that one as well, I think. I'm just going to put one or two bushes in here. There's going to be a tree in the centre, but I'm just going to put one or two bushes in because I'd like to have a lot of clear areas so you can see what the spider monkeys are up to. I don't want them hidden by all the foliage and, you know, the little bushes. So I'm not going to put too many in. Right, time for some water in the pond. There we go. Right, I'll just fill up my tanks and then we'll get on with the next bit. Right, I'm going to do a little bridge over this pond. I've started it over there. I want it a little bit on the diagonal. Me and my diagonals on a slate and I don't get any better at it, you know. Let's just uh, get that off there and... Oops, it is, eh? There we go. And I have had a pond in a spider monkey exhibit previously um, on my previous series and they fared very well. They dipped into it and got out of it without a problem. So I'm not envisaging any problem at all in this exhibit. I'm quite confident that they're going to be okay. Now I'm putting a few different coloured slabs around and I've tried to match the colours with those that are in the um, eucalyptus logs uh, as, as much as I could anyway. And I want to place them around these logs. So there's a little bit of variation in height, both around the beginning, the end, and the middle bits of the, uh, the bridge, I think. I think we're doing okay so far. I'll have to fiddle with it a little bit to get it looking right. And uh, move the colors around a bit, I think. There we go. Now it's looking, it looks a little bit janky. I know it does, I know it does, but I'm wanting some places to put some lights underneath. So I'm creating these overhangs with the slabs so I can place some lights on them. Right, I'm just gonna concentrate on the pond for a minute or two. And I'm gonna put start off with some seagrass in there just for a bit of movement, because I like the way it moves. And it just makes it not look so stagnant, even though it is a pond and it is stagnant water well. 
it just gives it a little bit of movement I like them in there anyway so I'm going to put those in first put one in there fancy a bit of sugar cane on there as well just a couple not a lot not a lot should we have that one there and maybe one round here okay another one yeah we'll put two around there we can't do without cattails in there uh, no, that's I can't put it in that one. Uh, uh, not there. Okay, let's have a look around the other side. Put some around here. There. Uh, a bit over here. There we go. We'll have a few bromelades. Not a lot, just a, one or two. Uh, put that there. Got some yellow ones as well. Um, let's just put one of those, move that there. Oh, it's getting dark. I need to, I need to put some lighting in here. I really do. Let me have a little snooze a -ne. Okay. Right. Oh, I do, I do like how this inside bit looks, actually. I quite like this, the shape of the roof and the, just, it, just the feel of it in here. I think these spider monkeys are going to like this. I really do. Right, I think I've put enough in around there. Right, time for a tree. And I'm going to put a tree in the middle here. And I just want it to be a bit of a platform, really. I'm using this mahogany. And I'm just going to make a, a sort of a flattish tree. I don't like seeing the edge of the mahogany that, like that, though. I think I'll make some um, of these. That's it. And they're all covered at the edges then. There we go. Yeah, I like that a bit better. There we go. It's a dinky little tree. It's only two layers of leaves. But uh, it's at the back here and it's very low. So I don't want it any higher. And we're going to put some climbing frames and things in. So I don't want it any bigger than this. So just add a, a, one or two more leaves on this side. And I think that's probably... That's probably about it, I think. Uh, can I... Shall I... No, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave that gap in the middle, actually. And uh, I don't know. I think I quite like that. Yeah, I know it's dinky, and I know it's not like a mahogany tree, but that's I, I, th I quite like that. I quite like that. And we must put a few mushrooms in as well. One there, maybe fit one under there. Yeah, and one on this side somewhere. Where can I? Where can I put this? Um. Oh yeah, we'll put it on there. There we go. Now the lighting, I'm going to do quite a lot of lighting in here because I don't want zombies and things roaming around in it. So I'm going to go down um, three blocks. So two... Oh, I need me uh, pick for that one. That one. And I should just be able to get a torch on the bottom. There we go. And then I'm going to put a, a mahogany leaf in and then a jungle leaf because that then covers over the torch there we go and I'm going to put quite a few of those in here and I also want this bridge to be well lit so I'm going to put some of these little lanterns where are they the tiny these here under here so Oh, that's a lower block. I can't put it up there. No, can't put it up there. Let's uh, go around the other side. Just a minute. Ah, oh, that. I can put one on there. And I think I can put one around the other side as well. Uh, that looks alright, doesn't it? And I thought I had one I could put on this side. But I've obviously put that in a different place. Do I want to? Do I want to pop that higher up? I think I might do. Just for a bit of balance, let's pop that. Let's pop that up there. And then we can pop that under there. There we go. I quite like that. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Right, so the next thing I'm going to do in these spaces here, just on either side of the bridge, I'm going to put some hanging um, climbing frames. That's what I'm going to do.
Okay, I think... I think I'm happy with that. So we look from this perspective. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. I'd like to think that the spider monkeys will get all over that, but we shall see. Right, now, I know this sounds a bit odd, and I know they're not birds, but I'm going to try some of these perches on here, because I'd like to think they might just climb up and sit on top of them, or help themselves up there and then onto the trees. But, um, don't know, they might never use them, but I'm, I'm going to have a go and see if I can spot them when they do. So I'll have the other one, I think, round this side. Um, there, there you go. And then we can't forget the tyre swings, can we? So I'm going to put some of these, I'm going to dot them around, actually. I'm going to dot quite a few of them around, actually, because there's quite a bit of space in some of these areas. So hopefully this will turn out to be, um, yeah, one of those. The other one I'd like to be a flat one, a horizontal one. So um, let me try and get that right. I'm not quite sure what you're supposed to do to get a horizontal one. Uh, let me just... I'll have to go on that one. Yep, this one down here. Right, I want um, a horizontal one just here. Actually, there's that sugar cane there. Will it, will it go flat on that sugar cane? Let's get rid of that. Uh, yeah, it will. <laughs> right, so let's see if we can get one over here. Probably another vertical one on this side here. Uh, probably to rest on the tree. Can we do that? Yep, yeah, that'll do it. And then on this one, I think I'd like a horizontal one if I can get one. Uh, so let's pop one on this side. Uh, that'll go on the same row of slabs, I think, there. Oh, that's a bit too high. And I wanted to try and get a flat one on there. So let's just take that down and try again. I'm going to put a row upon it this time. Right, let's try that again. Yeah, it's this one, isn't it? That one. And can I get this? Oh, I don't think I can do it from here. Yeah, there we go. I want a flat one, but it, at least it's in a different orientation. That'll that'll be okay, I think. I'm just putting another uh, climbing frame on here. Well, I don't know if you'd call them climbing frames, but they're blocks that they can climb on. So, climbing blocks? I don't know. But I just fancied some more there, a little bit higher up. Uh, I like all the ropes coming down. It looks really cool, I think. Uh, can I get one on the other side? Should be able to. Let's have a look on there. That's it. And I've got some hanging browsers. So I'm going to pop these all over. Some round here. I think they look really neat, these. There's a lot to them. And... They make sense, and I quite like them. Uh, another one around here somewhere. Where can I put this? Uh, no, around there in the corner, and then another one around here. On there, and I think just one, one or two on the tree. Oh, I can put one. Yeah, put one there as well. Let's have one around here. So there are eight spider monkeys in here, so, you know, you could do... They might all want their own brows. Put one there. I've decided that looks silly under there. I'm just going to move it over there. There we go. So I'm just about finished now. I'm just going to spread a little bit of grass about. And I've got individual grass here because I don't want to mess it up with bone meal. And, and then I've got a couple of the scented balls. And then I'm going to get them in. Right then, I'm going to put one round there. And then another one right round the other side. There, that'll do, I think. Okay. Whoa! No, I didn't mean for that to go around there. Can I get to the other side and kick it back? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Let me juggle these in my inventory and get these spider monkeys in. I think I'll take this grass out altogether, actually, because I haven't got much space. 
I'll just get this glass. I need to finish this off, actually. I didn't... Uh, uh, this is going straight across here. Nearly forgot that then. This will have to go right up to the top as well. Okay, let's get these monkeys in. I've got all eight here. They're labelled with the variants at the moment because I haven't got names for them, so suggestions would be very much appreciated. So we'll see what you can come up with. So let me just get these on my hot bar. I've got, um, as I said, eight brown variants and two black-headed ones. So let's see. Oh, I'll have to move that down in a bit. Right then, let's walk around and just release them. That was a brown one. A uh, black-headed one. <laughs> brown one. Another brown one. black-headed one to the brown one. Oh, I've kicked that football again that was a brown one and then we've got this last one here which will be another brown one there we go right let's see if I can get out without letting them out <laughs> okay I've got some glass on there um, I need my um, shovel okay let's have a look there we go. And the, oh, oh, I thought he was going to try and get out then. Excellent. Nice. So now we can take these off. There we go. There we go. Right, I'm just going to put this stuff away and then we'll have a walk around the exhibit and see how it looks from the outside. Okay. There we go. Oh, it's quite a few brown ones around here. Nice. It does look busy in there, but you can see them. You can see them at ground level. And hopefully when they start moving about, because they've just been released, and I do find that the all the animals are quite quiet after they've just been released, and then they, they, they start moving about. Let me move that out of the way. I still have to resolve myself with this. I, I just can't, I just don't like that at the moment. I've got to think of a solution for that. But with the inside, I'm really, really pleased with. Yeah, that looks really good. You won't be able to stand here and look at it, actually. This would be, this would be the other ex exhibit. So you'd only be able to come up to here. So we'll be doing one of the other exhibits in the next episode. So, yep, yeah, I, I really do like that. Oops. Oh, I don't think I like that. I might have to broaden this around here. Just around this bit. But I'll do that off camera and I'll have the path in all the way around. I'll do that off camera as well. And I've got to think of what to do with this roof because I want, I like the shape. I, I like the diagonal, but there's so much that well that I don't like about it as well so we'll see what I can come up with so that's about it for this episode so take care everybody I hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching I really appreciate it and I shall see you in the next episode I need sleep needs a snoozer bye bye <laughs>